Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily general message for Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, we are going live tonight, Tuesday night, between 7.30, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To be honest with you, we have been pushing it closer to the 8 o'clock mark there. But definitely hope to see you there. We always have a great time. If you like to prepay, pre-get your questions out there to me, just email me your list of questions at debdoesreadings at gmail.com and we'll get you on the list. Let's get started here. 10 card spread, five above, five below. No clarifiers as of yet, as well as an outcome and a clarifier. Just pointing this out, somebody is definitely uh, water versus air. Okay, that is really powerful there. Does not have to be, but they made it known to me multiple times here. I do feel that there is some type of twin flame energy going on as well with that emperor looking over at the magician manifesting with the thoughts here, okay, to start anew, I feel seeing the light, seeing the guidance here really needs forgiveness, okay, because they didn't show that action for quite some time. They could actually uh, still, you could still be talking, I also feel that, to them, but they're not like full steam ahead, you know, this is no king here. This is the night. This is zigzag energy of in and out energy here. I feel that they are about to man up here because they don't want to lose you. They do feel that connection. They do love you here. Definitely twin flame to take that next step here. But things have been basically dragging on. Now, there could be lack of communication as well, but Hangman to me is stagnation and actual real movement here, regardless of time frame. You know, I really feel now look at this. I feel that for whomever this is meant for, you got two pages. That's nice. However, there is that seven of cups. Now, seven of cups is known for an option in love. Yeah, I feel that somebody really needs to come back into your life again and explain things. It's going to be a little confusing. Uh, some out there, I do feel that somebody didn't know that they liked them. Okay, a little crush there as well. You're going to hear from them. But I definitely feel they're going to show this action. There could be an apology as well with that page of Pentacles. But all in all, things are going to be cleared up. There's going to be open communication between two people here. Excellent. To put more work, okay? Now, the outcome is the King of Cups, like I said, water sign energy. Uh, you have all the signs, basically. There's going to be work by them turned towards you, the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is known for the cutout queen. She is also air sign energy, uh, but I do feel that you're going to be a little protective of your heart, okay? Uh, so you're going to protect, you're going to hear them out, okay? But it's going to take a lot to make sure, hey, you're not going to do this again to me, are you? That's why the Seven of Cups. That's why the confusion. There may be some type of long explanation as to why they were acting that way, why they ghosted, why aren't you putting up, uh, you know, putting out there the most energy, the most, uh, you know, to pursue me here in this relationship, okay? So somebody I do feel is going to be very protective of their heart, but they are willing, they are trying here, so try your hardest to hear them out. I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but, you know, uh, I would definitely try to hear them out here, okay? Uh, but yeah, there's always reason to be forgiven. There's always reason to uh, logically think, you know, and think about it and to work on it, okay? That's what you know, my parents always used to say the key to any relationship is through communication. So true, uh, but definitely it, it's going to take work, okay? So that's what I basically have here. I don't know if I did the, you know, here we go. We're going to do the five above, five below. They can't get you off their mind. They're begging here for your forgiveness for a change in this relationship. Like I said, you could be dealing with a twin flame, but there was lack of effort in this, whether they talk to you now and just don't step up more to the plate, you know, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, okay, well, I'll hear from them once a week or once every two weeks kind of thing. However, I do feel that they do love you here and there's going to be that communication from them. 
heartfelt. I just heard heartfelt here because they do love you. And we're going to have a t conversation going on to take that next step. Let's figure this out. Let's work on this together. After quite an ordeal of waiting, this action is now coming in. They could come back a little playful. This dude always reminds me of Aries uh, dude wise and they're fun. Let's just say it. They're fun to me anyway. Uh, but definitely, you know, they could come back flirty and fun, uh, aggressive as well with that wand. But definitely I feel that they have a tough time in opening up towards you with love here and their emotions. But they're going to come back and communicate. It's up to you if you want to hear them out. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. Yet again, we are going live tonight between 7.30, 8 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to prepay ahead of time and give me your questions, the only questions I don't answer are in regards to either law or medical. I am neither one of them. So definitely check us out. We do have a lot of fun. I, I, I act stupid during the live. So it's actually fun. Uh, but you guys rock. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.